A sign that's been around for decades in Charlotte was stolen during the city's Frontier Days event. And now organizers need help from the public to find out where it is. Daryl and Horn is here for you now with more from people in the community who just can't believe a sign that holds so much history is gone. Lauren Sherry, this banner right here has been displayed at Frontier Days for the past few decades, so community organizers are pretty heartbroken that it was stolen on Sunday. But they tell us the thieves have just a few days to return it until their next plan of action, which is getting authorities involved. When we think of Frontier Days, that banner is always front and center. This close-knit group, including organizer Kim Wake, can't wrap their heads around why someone would steal something that holds so much value. Frontier Days has been around for decades, and this past weekend they celebrated its 50th anniversary. Probably the rodeo and the saloon. <laughs> the parade, the parade is always a highlight. For more than 30 years, this sign has been part of that tradition, tied to this fence, so it's no wonder why organizers say this is upsetting. We've displayed it every year. It used to hang downtown. A lot of history with that banner. It's 35 years old, so that, that banner has seen more festivals than I have seen. Early Sunday morning, the sign, which was hanging on Cochrane Avenue, was stolen, and this was no accident. We know the banner did not fly away. It's 42 feet long, as I mentioned, and it had several zip ties across the top and the bottom, and that's how we discovered it was missing. We have several of these broken zip ties here, so it took some effort to get the banner off. People here say it's probably just a prank, but all they want is for the tradition to continue. And then to have someone in the community to take it, it's really sad to think, so hopefully we find it. Waite says there the sign is irreplaceable, and they want whoever has it to drop it off here at the fairgrounds so the sign can hang on for another 35 years. We really just want the sign back. Now, organizers say you have seven more days starting today to drop off the sign in person or anonymously right behind the gate it was taken from. They say if it does not get returned, a report will be filed with police, something they say they do not want to do. Now, anyone with information that could lead to the sign's return can contact Kim Waite, whose information can be found at WLNS.com. Lauren, Sherry. All right, thank you, Daryl.